everybody. Welcome to the first official episode of the Hardcore Iron Man series. I uh, don't really count the last one because it was mainly just like letting you guys know that I was going to be making a Hardcore Iron Man and doing just like some very small starter things. It seems to me that you guys are just as excited as I am because I've gotten a lot more likes on this video than I have on like a lot of my Iron Man videos. Thank you very much for that feedback, and let's go ahead and jump straight into the content. So I wasn't planning on making any more updates on this until I had maybe like 41 woodcutting or something like that, but I just got the random event, uh, what is it, Rick, like Turpentine or something. My man gave me 80 GP, so that's like, that puts me in a little bit over halfway to being able to afford the steel axe. So I might just have to tell you to lumber it and sell some stuff to a general store, see if I can, you know, get some profit for a steel axe. Probably going to make it a little bit easier. So just brought my, pretty much my entire bank to the general store, managed to scrape up 200 GP. Let's go ahead and grab this steel axe, and this will probably be the last upgrade you see until I'm done with woodcutting up until I'm winter Todd ready. Oh, we got Logan Paul over here too. Crash in the clip. Oh man, dead as hell. What? <laughs> My man Romeo is not so loyal. I cannot trust people these days, or even back in the day. Whatever year this is based in, can't trust. Them. Six quest points, five from that quest. Very difficult quest. Off to Ernest the Chicken. You better turn my friend back. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Wow. 300 bands in the back pocket. Four quest points. Damn, we're all already up to 10. After the completion of Ernest the Chicken quest, made our way to Draenor Village and got our very own Chronicle. Too bad we cannot afford any pages just yet. So, it's just here for the looks for now. Look at how efficient I'm being. Let's see. I don't know if this is the completion of the Rue Mysteries quest, but basically what I'm doing, I'm doing... Oh, awesome, it is the finishing touches of the Rune Mysteries quest. But, I am also doing the Restless Ghost. <laughs> Get owned. They grow up so fast. The Restless Ghost quest has been completed. It brings us from level 1 to level 9 prayer. Not bad. This rock right here should be the last rock we need. 14 mining has been achieved. We're going to boost up to 15 with a Dwarven Stout. And we're going to do that basically so we can get the Doric's quest completed. And also I think while I'm down here I might do the... What is it? The Myth... Myth... Uh, uh, Mystery. I might do that quest. So... We'll see about it. I haven't fully decided, even though they're right beside me. Hardest quest on the account done so far. Sheep Shearer. 150 crafting XP. What level is that going to get us? Ooh, level 3. Alright, I'll take it. We can now clean some polished buttons. That's just what I'm looking for. We just started the Dorix quest. Hopefully, this won't take too long. Alright, didn't take too long. We're good, 180 GP and 4 mining levels. Yeah, we ended up actually getting 15 mining. Huge shout out to this guy right here. Um, I believe it's pronounced Hi-Fi, Hi-Five, I don't know. Um, giving me a bond, thank you very much, I appreciate it. You are awesome. The big milestone level is going to be coming in any moment now. Awesome. Level 50. We can now do Winter Todd whenever we're a member. And would you look at that? We're a member. So right now, I'm on my way to the Harpy Bug Swarms to get the trousers of the Clue Hunter outfit. This is actually pretty risky because of the... Ah! Ah! Because the Harpy Bug Swarms max hit a 6. So hopefully, I'll have enough running energy by the time we get there to be able to run past all of them. We've got Jugs of Wine, which heal 10. I think we'll be alright. You know, I'm hoping so. Hoping there's no lag spikes. But you never know. So we ended up getting 15 thieving. Uh, and that was all from stealing cakes in Ardoyan. Getting those uh, 
just for the winter tie grind. I think I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. Whoops. Let me go ahead and correct there. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a ton of updates on fire making levels just because it's going to kind of be the same thing. But I'm going to uh, try to save up a decent amount of crates and see if we can open maybe like five or ten at a time. Something like that. So we finished our very first ten kills of the winter tie boss. Got from level 50 all the way to 58 fire making. So let's see what we get from these 10 chests. I'll go ahead and eat those 10 crates, excuse me. <music> 19 burnt pages, pyromancer garb, willow seed, and 35k. This is like so much better than the first 10. finally decided to purchase my very first house you know it's not not much you know it's worth about a good thousand gold pieces but we also got our chronicle fully charged well not fully charged but pretty charged and now we're gonna make our way over to the sawmill so we can get a saw and some nails so we can start some construction get our construction to maybe around 10 we're gonna be doing that just so we get higher XP drops from wintertime whenever the Brazier breaks and we have to fix it. So yeah, it'll no longer be an XP waste. Feels good. So I decided to do what I did on my last account and get the planks for early construction over at the fishing trawler because I can also buy crafting supplies at the same time while I'm waiting on spawns so I don't hit the uh, world hop limit. So that's really good, so I'll be collecting some early crafting levels as well. The efficiency is real. So we ran out of cakes for the winter time grind. So that's pretty much what we're going to do now. Probably get about two or three hundred more. And then hopefully move on and do some more winter top. Oh no, we didn't get it. Oh, 80 fire making coming in. Off of the end of the level there. We can now burn magic pyre logs. Nice. Kind of just decided to record this one because it's a pretty big milestone. 80 fire making. It's the first real um, level I've actually recorded here. Everything else has been just loot. But yeah, so far everything's going good. I don't really know why I'm running out because I've got everything I need. What's up everybody? I'm joined by Regulator, Dasha Cray, and my man Morks. Just finished up the 10 crates for this Winter Todd session. Let's see if we can pull anything good. Oh, no uniques, but let's see anything good? No. Oh well. Dude, shout out to all these guys. I'll tune into the stream. You guys are awesome. So guys, it took us 220 crates to finish off the entire Pyromancer set with a lot of duplicates of warm gloves and Bruma torches, but oh well, can't really complain since it's a 1 out of 150 item and we're already done at 220. Feels good. Level 90 fire making coming in on winter Todd kill count number 255 so we've been here for quite a while still planning on being here for quite a bit longer not feeling too burnt yet so plan on sticking to it thank you guys so much for checking out episode one of the hardcore iron man reborn series sorry there's so much winter Todd, but you know it's the best time to do it 
There was actually about 25 hours worth of footage in this video. Trimmed it down into 10 minutes. Usually I can get a lot more content within 24 hours. That's why this video is taking so long. But yeah, we ended up getting 90 fire making and we're pretty close to halfway to 99 fire making. So if we get 99, that'll be in the next episode as well as beginning on some other things as well. Don't really want to spoil too much of the fun. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and take care.